of key. Amen. Whatever pressure, whatever forces the enemy is putting across to us, we shall not fly. Amen. For I'm taking my reading from first Samuel chapter 17. And I'm going to read that one later later. But it says, for those who are subjects of ridicule, I'm talking of those who are who are ready to pray, who are who are very who are ready to pray. All right? Concerning this, that I shall laugh last. If you know why you need to laugh last, this is the reason for those who are subject of ridicules. I don't know whether you have been subject to such ridicule or you are going through some ridicules. Right now, the enemy is telling you, you cash money, no way. You ideas, forget it. You help, forget it. Now, and people begin to ridicule they are. See them, see you. See them the way they are. Well, let me tell you, tonight, end has come to them. Amen. And end has come to your ridicules in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, subject of those of, of ridicule and would like to have the last, last, the last laugh over their words, over their enemies. Most of these ridicules are from the pit of hell. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not from God. Your God will not ridicule you. There is no way it will reduce. It will reduce. Ridicule means to reduce to nothing. And the Bible says we are the head and not the tail. Eh? While we shall remain always the head and not the tail in Jesus' name. Amen. So in the in the story of David versus Goliath, a a what a bad beginning made a good end. For what for the nation of Israel, a bad beginning, but they ended well. Praise the Lord. So a true believer is not running the Christian race as the what? Beating the air while taking what? Cognizance of rules of the race. Say so you will surely laugh last in Jesus' name. Amen. I say to you tonight, you shall surely laugh last in Jesus' name. Amen. In Psalm 126 verse 2 and 2 it says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said, we were like what? Like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Said then men, they say, they among the brethren. And the Lord has done great things for them. That's what Sammy says in one, Psalm 126, verse 2 and 2. He said, another one said, let me just say, he who laughs last, laughs best, says an old English proverb, right? Which we know. Indeed, this is a true for every child of God. Every child of the living God. The devil might feel that he has you, that he has you eh, in his kitty, where he wants you to be. But let me tell you, because let me tell you this: you have victory already. Praise the Lord. Eh? The victory is in your hand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, "Your he said he may want you to to have your back." Eh? Right, mocking you, right your back against the wall with any hope of what salvation dashed. As he said, your enemy might even what might want to place you in a place of ridicule, mocking, just to mock you. What do you think you call yourself? Beloved, as long as you have a place, your complete true, your complete trust in God, it will perfect that which concerns you in Jesus' name. Amen. It will begin a great deliverance that will turn around all your captivity Amen. and put laughter into your mouth. Amen. This month, end of this year, you shall laugh last. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Starting from this moment, you shall laugh last. Amen. I don't know what your captivity is or what is mocking you right now. The devil feel is winning in your life. But this prayer point will display what? It will destroy every bondage and every garment of shame. Amen. 
that the enemy might have placed upon you. And reproach will turn, will be turned off in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, against all hope, Abraham believed in hope. And he became the father of many nations. Against all hope. Eh? Against all hope. Against all hope. Abraham believed in hope. When hope seems to be finished with men. When hope seems to be finished with his colleagues, with his friends, with his family. He believed he still continued to have hope. And he became what? Father of many nations. Romans chapter 4. Verse 18. The name of the promised child was Isaac, which means what? Laughter. I say to you tonight, you shall give back to your Isaac in Jesus' name. Amen. You shall give back to your Isaac in Jesus' name. Amen. When the captivity of barrenness was turned around, Abraham and Sarah laughed. They laughed. When their captivity was turned around, Genesis 21, verse 1 to 6, God filled their mouth with laughter. God filled their mouth with laughter. Abraham was over 90 years old, getting to 100. And Sarah was getting to 90. Imagine that age. And yet, God still turned their captivity around. They are ridicule. He turned into laughter. Praise the Lord. I say to you tonight, God will turn your ridicule to laughter, to celebration in Jesus' name. Amen. As you use this prayer point, which we are going to go into, every captivity that is, is, that is causing shame, that is bringing reproaches, well, as everything that is causing you to cry will be destroyed, and the Almighty God will fill your mouth with laughter in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. I want you to rise up your, on your feet right now. We are going to make, you are going to make a confession before we go into prayer. And we are, our confession is from Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17. He says, the Lord thy God, open your mouth right now, we are making a confession. He said, the Lord thy God, in the midst of thee, is mighty. He will save he will rejoice, he rejoice over thee, over thee with, joy. with joy. He will trust in his love. He will, he will joy over, over thee, thee with, singing. with singing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to go into prayers right now. Our prayer is just going to take like maybe five or six prayer points. And then after that.